Fritz Nelson here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. I'm with Rick Peterson, who is the Director of Marketing and Sales for HZO. You're changing the formula. I thought it was H2O. That's the key. And the Z, uh, we haven't uh, figured out how to brand that yet, but it was unique and uh, maybe zero, uh, zero uh, entrance of water into devices. Now, we're, we're seeing a bunch of this kind of technology here at Mobile World Congress already. Is this a problem, people dropping their phones into toilets or something? Number one, number one problem. And we did a little survey just to be sure on Facebook, and we found out that 96% of the people that have mobile devices are not only extremely concerned about damage, but we asked them how much they would pay if they had a smartphone, and they said over 100 bucks. So obviously we're not only need it, but we're willing to pay for it. And tell us the uh, magic that you're putting on devices. Well, first I'll clarify that this isn't going to cost 100 bucks, but we are using a gas vaporization process to take a coating inside and coat build up on the electronic components. So even though most of these devices you've seen are full of water, they're still operating because there's a barrier between the water and the component. Okay, now we saw a demo from a company called Liquipel. Uh, what's the difference between what they do and you do? Don't talk about anybody else, but I'm glad to tell you about us. What we do that I think is unique is, uh, as you've looked at the devices and the demos, you may notice they've been underwater a long, long time. That's unique, I think, and the fact that we open the devices up and leave them in the water a long time. The reason for that is that we've got a very unique coating, but we've also got a very unique coating process or application process that allows there to be a significant coating or barrier without, without a negative effect on the uh, function of the device. Now. I, as I understand, if I send my product off to get coded by another company that I won't name, it voids the warranty? I'm not 100% sure of that, but the, all the manufacturers I've asked that question of have said yes, it would most likely void the warranty. One of the reasons that we chose not to put this in the aftermarket, the others are it's just expensive and it takes people's devices out of their hands for a period of time and it's not the most effective way to apply the uh, technology. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking when I was talking to them is that I have to send them the device and I have to do without it for however long that takes. But you're working with the manufacturer so you're going to build this in in some way. Yeah and we know that that requires a little bit of patience and I know that's hard but very soon we'll be able to see some announcements of devices coming into the market that are available with it. We think it'll be uh, kind of like the Gorilla, uh, Gorilla Glass. In the next couple of years, every device will have this product on it. Now, as I understand it as well, you're not coding everything. T talk about that and, and why that's important, let's say. Two reasons. The first reason it's important not to code everything is one, aesthetics, Phil. They go to a lot of expense to design a phone that's sleek and smooth and pretty. So we don't want to mess with that, so we don't, we don't coat that. What don't you coat? We don't coat anything on the exterior, anything. The other thing that we don't coat is the absolute finest point of the connection, where the electricity has to flow. Obviously, if you coat the contacts, you're not going to have a functioning device. So those are two things that we uh, have created a very unique process to allow us to get absolute protection without affecting the function of the phone or the fill. So the, so the charging point and the, and the connection between the battery and the phone? Actually, you get inside a device, there's a lot of connection points, a contact points, and so all of those are protected with our unique process. And so you can't talk yet about any devices that are available? We can't. We've got some devices out in the marketplace in other uh, industries, but in the mobile device industry, we're hoping they'll make announcements real soon. Okay, and so then, therefore, since I'm just buying the device, not your stuff, I, I really won't see the cost or at least it'll be passed along to me in a way that won't really matter. And because we've uh, gone to a lot of expense to create a very efficient process for them to put it into their assembly production process, we believe it'll be so minimal that, yeah, it may not be noticeable by the end consumer. Great, thank you so much. Thank you, sir.